Hey guys, it's Mark here. We are back with another video and today we have the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge in 2021. And well, I took another week to play around with it a little bit longer with one Galaxy Note Edge that I got from Shopee. And the software that comes with it is from Japan. So without further ado, let's get it started. So let's start with the device design. As you can see here, the device design looks really great. The look and feel of the device is very premium. The size is a bit wider on the side. When holding it, you can actually feel that the phone is actually quite wide and fat, I would say. It will take some time to get used to it, but the design is actually really nostalgic and I actually really love and enjoy it. And actually, I'm quite happy with it, especially the condition that I got from online. So on top of the device is the auto jack, IR blaster and the power button and on the left side is the device volume button and on the right side is the curved display which is the reason why the power button moved to the top of the device. At the bottom of the device is the microphone, micro USB charging port and the S Pen. The back of the device is the speaker grill and also the beauty of an older Galaxy phone is the removable back and the interchangeable battery which is super great. And the home button double as a fingerprint reader. The fingerprint reader is not that great at all. Despite it being a first gen, I don't really use it a lot. The fingerprint is definitely a hit or miss situation, but I don't use it at all. So I'd rather have a pin code or pattern as a lock screen compared to a fingerprint reader. The device is running on Android 6.0.1. Which is the latest as you can get, I think you can flash it to a latest Android 11 or something But because mine is from Japan so I need to take some time to actually find the flashing files And the UI itself is actually very nostalgic and also very different Navigating takes some learning and by over time it feels very normal Or maybe you can just download some launcher to make things easier for you guys But I always prefer having a stock launcher that comes with it, it feels like it's more towards the phone personality than trying to become something else. The Galaxy Note Edge uses a 5.6 inch Super AMOLED display with 1600 by 2560 resolution. I really enjoyed the display even though the overall fun doesn't look very new. I mean like it's 2014 phone, I can't really expect much from back then. But the display looks really good despite the age. But the display itself is definitely better than any mid-range phone I ever used. Plus, I know this is a flagship in 2014, it's a bit unfair for judging it for the screen itself. But it's, I'm judging it for the price point that I got it. So yeah. The Galaxy Note Edge is packed with a 3000 mAh battery that support 15 watts fast charging. Back then, 3000 is a huge thing and it sounds small especially today and depending on how you guys use it as well. Battery life itself, I wouldn't say it's good or even bad but I would say it's better than average. If anything more than that, you're gonna find yourself finding a bug point nearby. And it gets hot when you use it for quite some time, like even just scrolling on Twitter or Facebook or even Instagram. The Galaxy Note Edge is running on a Snapdragon 805 which is pretty okay in 2021. And the variant I have here is a 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. Overall, the phone feels a little bit sluggish when scrolling, uh, maybe just browsing through sometimes, or even switching apps. Again, this is an older device, you can't really expect so much from it. But going, going through YouTube, it seems a bit fine, but scrolling music on Spotify is really sluggish. Playing Call of Duty on a phone is not that bad, it's quite playable but well PUBG is running on medium settings so which isn't that bad at all for Call of Duty all you get is like the lowest setting possible. The phone does feel super hot especially the battery will drain even faster when you play games for hours even a few minutes you can feel the heat but I mean like if for a few minutes it is not that super hot but it generates more heat. 
The Galaxy Note 8 features 16 megapixel with an f-stop of 2.2. The photo taken on this looks really great, and I love the camera on this, which isn't that bad at all. And the Galaxy Note 8 does quite well. You can get close to the subject, and the background does get a decent blur. It's kind of slow on the shutter, but even opening apps itself, so I really don't really care much on that. But HDR mode does quite come in handy as it brings in more detail and both highlights and shadows. The selfie camera is 3.7 megapixel shooter with an of 1.9. Don't get me started, the quality is just not the best but it's usable at least although it looks quite pixelated but the detail isn't really that great. But it's a good thing that I don't really take a lot of selfies. After using it for quite some time, I really enjoy the feeling of having older phones in my hand at the same time. I don't really enjoy the heat and the sluggishness but again, it's something I really cannot expect in 2021. And the phone you can do quite a lot with it but I'm using it to watch uh, movies and to catch up some shows on my phone. The speaker on the back is quite a deal breaker but is not as bad as I thought even though the volume is quite loud and if you guys are interested in this phone I'll link it down below but I highly do not suggest to get a phone unless you're using it for entertainment purposes like YouTube or Netflix or even something else whatever apps you guys use to watch shows that could be great and having the 3.5 mm jack there is actually quite useful although I'm using a lot of Bluetooth stuff nowadays Aside from that, thank you very much for watching and remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell button as well so you get notified every second I upload. If you do have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment down below and follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links down below. And this is Mark here and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!